Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim, Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. If you hear any snoring, that's Renee over here in her chair, uh, sleeping, because she tried to sleep in bed, but uh, was constantly coughing. She had popcorn before she went to bed, and I think the popcorn is not settling right in her stomach and wants to constantly come up. I want to talk about, well, first off, they're not actually making a new law, but they're trying to change the current law. Here in Ohio, they wanted to amend the uh, current uh, law, 310108, on who can marry people. And not only just who, who can marry people, but also to protect, to protect uh, uh, ministers and pastors and religious organizations or societies from marrying people who they who goes against their, their faith, who, their belief. Because it goes on, it goes here and says that, uh, on page three it says no ordained or licensed minister described in division a one of this section of the or religious society described in division a seven of this section is required to summonize a marriage that does not conform to the to the ordained or licensed ministers or religious societies held religious beliefs. No religious society or is required to allow any building or property of the religious society to be used to host a marriage ceremony for a marriage that does not conform to the religious society's held religious beliefs. And it goes on. It's a, a law to, it's amending the current law and adding to it to protect ordained ministers and, and pastors and religious societies from people who want to do this. I'm keeping a, 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 a record of everything that you say to me. Everything that you do. Why? I'm, I'm not putting it on the internet. I'm just preaching about it. So you sent me this one right here first. The other day. And what gets me is you said here. That you were talking to your pastor. Okay, why don't you ask your pastor to marry you and your uh, fiancé? 
Why don't you ask your pa pastor to marry you and your fiance? Why doesn't your pastor marry you? And why would a pastor tell somebody that uh, to take down somebody's uh, Facebook site? A real pastor wouldn't even tell somebody to take down somebody's Facebook site. And again, again, you're 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 saying uh, that uh, since I didn't uh, apologize, that you're going to try to uh, shut down my ministry site. You have no power or authority over me or my ministry. Or God Almighty, because God Almighty is going to get you. Mark my words. He's my avenger. And if that pastor is any kind of pastor, he will call me. My number is on my Facebook site. He will call me and talk to me on the phone. And I will tell him what kind of pastor he really is. Because God's Word, God's Word, you know what God's Word is, don't you? First off, let me say this here too real quick. That uh, the Ohio law describes what you're doing is menacing by stalking. No person to any use of any electronic method or remedy transferring information including but not limited to any computer computer network which is Facebook computer program which is a virus or computer system shall post a message with purpose to use or intend and incite another to commit a violation of division so and so forth there. Whoever violates this section is guilty of menacing by stalking. Menacing by stalking is a felony of the fourth degree if any other following applies. Well, now, okay. I, you know, I glanced through uh, that Kiwi Farm site and someone had mentioned something about oh you know I don't have the right to place anybody under arrest well then you don't know the law because you're always breaking the law right here is the law here in Ohio when a family has been committed or is there is reasonable grounds to believe a felony has been uh, committed any person without a warrant may arrest whom he has reasonable cause to believe is guilty of the offense. So there you have it. Yes, citizens of the of Ohio are allowed to uh, uh, and as a s trained certified security officer certified by the state of Ohio through the training I took in 1992 at Mansfield Business College I learned all that a long time ago I learned a lot of other things too but you, you think I'm stupid why was we made first off why was man made in 1st Corinthians 9 it says right here God is faithful by whom you were called into the fellowship of his son Jesus Christ we were made and called to fellowship with Jesus Christ are you fellowshipping with Jesus Christ I don't think so. 
but because of the fact that um, in Second Timothy three, of course, it talks about in uh, the last days, perilous times will come. But if you read down on into uh, thirteen, see, I I I uh, was reading that the other day, and then I was like, whoa, here we go. But evil, evil. Evil men and impostors will grow worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Evil men and impostors will grow worse and worse. And that is what is happening. There are evil men and impostors. There are people, you know, making fake Facebook sites. And and also, like, uh, make, uh, making uh, up uh, also uh, websites. Fake websites. Because they're mad at people like me who stand on the word of God. That says homosexuality is a sin and God hates sin. I'm not apologizing for God. I'm not apologizing for my belief and faith. I am not going to bow to your whims. And any pastor, real pastor, will say to another pastor or another believer, do not give in. If you give in, then you've given up the faith. And let me tell you something. There are a lot of people in the last days that are giving up the true faith. And that is what is happening today. Many are falling away from the true faith. They need to get back into the Word of God, the true Word of God, and stop believing what the society wants. Because let me tell you, society wants this. Society wants this. Society wants protection against people like you, who hate people like me. Because... I will not bow and, and give in and say what you want me to say and believe what you want me to believe. I have freedom of religion, not freedom of faith. I know, you know, a lot of people are getting their information. I don't know how they're getting some of these information, but let me tell you something. You need to stop now. I have some good friends on Facebook, and then I have some of these people. Wow. And like I said, fake, uh, evil people, evil men, and imposters. Well, right there's an imposter. That's not me. And then this, supposedly this Grandma Betty, I doubt that's a, uh, a real person. Because for one thing, uh, Renee is mentally retarded. She has uh, cerebral palsy. She's probably smarter than you are. Do you see what's going on, Renee's stepfather? How evil these people are? But then again, you're a part of the community. Hello. So, you know, I guess, you know, you probably, will be, you probably believe the same thing, that Renee is mentally retarded. She's not mentally retarded. She has cerebral palsy, and she graduated high school. A mentally retarded person w wouldn't be able to graduate high school. 
and even go to college but because of her health her health going into the hospital three times when she was uh, in going in when she was taking college classes Is the reason why they told her it's best for her to just drop out. Because, uh, well, federal law more or less states that if you can't stay in college and keep up, then, you know, either you have to pay out of your own pocket or, or um, and there's no way that she could pay out her own pocket before she can get, you know, any more Pell Grant money. Long story short, she had no other choice but just to, you know, do what they wanted her to do. The problem is. Other people are always telling other people what to do. But I stand on the Word of God. God is telling me what to do. The Holy Spirit is telling me what to do. And the Holy Spirit also tells me what to say. Evil men and imposters. Evil men and imposters. <sighs> Will grow worse and worse. When? In the last days. And that is what is happening. Plus, earthquakes in many places, and uh, that's what's happening also here, one way after another. Like, there was an earthquake in southern Georgia, or the United States of America, yesterday evening, yesterday afternoon in the Philippines. If you can't see we're living in the last days, people, you got your head in the sand. Jesus Christ said he's the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father but by and only through him. God bless you. Have a blessed day.